Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm the Clumsy Simmer and today we are in Henford on Bagley and I am making a farmhouse for three different generations and I really hope you guys enjoy this build. So first off, let me go ahead and thank all of my subscribers. I now have 97 subscribers guys. That is really just amazing to me. Um, I just can't thank you guys enough. We're almost at a hundred and so yeah, I just want to thank you guys so much for supporting me and enjoying my content and I hope you enjoy my future content as well. And if you like this video and you're watching it and you're not subscribed, then definitely hit that subscribe button so you can view more content of mine in the future. I am going to be doing all types of different houses and... I am, I also post families from Cray to Sam, and yeah, so just a big thank you to you guys. I just, I wish I knew how to thank you guys. I just, other than just saying thank you, because <laughs> I really am just so appreciative, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into the build. So, like I was saying, this is three different generations, and it really is quite a big build. Um, it is on a 50 by 40 lot and so it took me quite a bit of time like pretty much a couple of days off and on of building and I'm quite happy with the way that it turned out. The only thing about it is that I sped it up quite a bit and yet it is still 58 minutes long and that is just crazy to me. The whole speedboat is 58 minutes long. Um, and then like there are some screenshots at the end that contain about four minutes of that but just over 50 minutes of speed build is just crazy I just couldn't edit it down anymore um, so it is what it is I hope you guys enjoy these longer videos because it this will not be the last most likely I really enjoyed doing this bigger build and I think it turned out really really awesome and I am looking forward to doing more in the future, but I actually used terrain tools in this build. That is not something I do often at all. Um, I'm kind of intimidated on using terrain tools. So as you can see right now, I kind of am laying out how I'm going to format this build. Um, I really didn't have a plan at all. I seen an inspiration picture of the shape of the house and I didn't see the yard whatsoever so I'm pretty much just thinking of the yard myself and I really wanted to put it up kind of on a hill because you guys know Hanford on Bagley is quite hilly and there's mountains in the background and so I thought it would make sense to put the whole build on a hill and so that is what I attempted to do and I also wanted to make sure you know that I made good use of the whole lot and so I put a barn in the back so there's a horse that can live in this house and there's also two like little cow houses, uh, little barns that your cows and llamas can go in. There's two of those and there's also one chicken coop and so they can have all sorts of animals and they can also buy some sheep from like the mini sheeps and the mini goats from the ranch store and so this home is going to be crawling with animals there's also a place for a dog and so yeah um this is going to be quite a full household which i think is fantastic it's always fun to play with big households so let's see i as i was building this i was kind of thinking who lives here and so there is a bedroom for either a grandma or a grandpa um there's too many sims in the house to have two grandparents um so i mean it really just boils out boils down to what you guys want in the house so there is furnishings for a dog a horse a infant a child a teen a parent or two parents and a grandparent or two grandparents so with all of that you guys can decide if you'd rather have just one parent and two grandparents or just one grandparent and two parents or you don't even want three ge different generations in this house and you just have the two parents and all the kids that is definitely 
something you can do as well and you can just have an extra kid or whatever you guys want to do this is just you know the basis of what I thought would look good in this house and I really wanted to put a little place for a little dog because just seeing a dog run around on this lot I feel like would be so cute. <laughs> I did not test it out with the dog but as I was playtesting it I did have a horse and I had to move some things in like you know the landscaping and stuff to make it playable for the horse but it is in fact playable now that I did adjust some of the spots in the back particularly that area that's like right there by the pond it was really like not uh, I don't know what exactly was wrong with it um, <laughs> I think it was like the bushes that ended up being in the way so I moved those and the horse was able to use it and I kind of flattened it out a little bit not really flattened but I kind of smoothed it out and so it works now and so horses you know can play in this build and this whole build is play tested. <laughs> um, I also play tested the kitchen. I play tested like one of the rooms upstairs. Actually, this room I'm working on right now. It has like a step up that's going to be the parents' bedroom. And I did play test that to make sure that the parents could actually get up there. And so, yeah. Um, I'm kind of just figuring out the floor plan right now. So, in the end, I ended up having five bedrooms and five bathrooms. And which is quite a lot of bathrooms, <laughs> but um, it's ju it just happened that way. And one of the bathrooms, I actually have a washer and dryer in it. So it's also a laundry room slash bathroom. And then there are actually two living spaces. So there's like one of them is right when you walk into the entryway. And that's almost just like the actual sit and talk type of room kind of like a showroom some people will have that extra room in the front and they'll say you're not allowed to sit on that couch okay go to the couch in the back so that's kind of the room that that is and that I was thinking would be and then there is also right off of like the backyard um, there's an additional living space and that's kind of like the entertainment room so you have like the TV and plenty of sitting room. That's pretty much where the family's probably going to be at to like spend time together and watch their shows and all that good stuff. So there's also a piano in there. And I don't know why I'm so proud of that, but I am. <laughs> uh, and I also made a playroom. So like I was saying, there is an infant and a child in this house. And there was an extra room <laughs> I didn't know what to do with and so I just made it a playroom and I think it turned out pretty cute and off of the dining room that kind of not really circular but that room with all the windows I thought was perfect for a little bit of a green room and I was going to just put it as like an extra sitting space but I was like there's already two living rooms I mean, how many sofas does this family need? You know what I mean? So I ended up having an idea of just making it like a little greenhouse, green room sort of thing right off the dining room. So I was thinking they have all like their special herbs and stuff that they like to cook with. Uh, they probably have in that room. And since it's sheltered, it gives them the ability to be able to cook with those herbs and veggies and fruits all year long. And I thought that was a great little touch and a great use of space down there. So that's what I decided to do. And I also have a barn. As you guys could see, I kind of am working on that right now. And by the way, I pulled out this white picket fence. And how beautiful does that fence look? How white and crisp does it look? And so I had to use it. And... It, it kind of, I had a hard time with it because of the terrain paint, and the, or I mean the terrain tools. And so it kind of makes the fence wonky. But I made sure to spend enough time smoothing out the entire fence so there's no like wo wonky like places in it. And it really turns out good in the end. And it looks like really nice white and crisp. And I really just love that fence. Um, I think they just added it in uh, the horse ranch pack, I believe. Yeah, so I love it. <laughs> and as you can see right now, I'm kind of doing some terrain tools up onto the barn. And by the way, that barn door, I am sad to say 
the horse cannot walk through. Um, I, I swear I have played the horse ranch pack and I thought I had a barn in my build that had that door on there and the, the horse had no problem going into it. So I don't know what the problem was. I thought it was like the terrain tools and like the leveling on the grounds and that's why the horse couldn't walk through there. But that was not the problem. It was literally the door. And so that does not stay. Um, I actually don't record that part. <laughs> so um, that was while I was play testing, I had to fix it. So I just took that door off and kind of just added um, a couple of columns there instead. And I also added that, like the spandrel, the wood spandrel. And then I added some lights and called it a day. It, it looks pretty good though. It looks good. It looks like a barn still. Um, I just kind of missed that door because I thought that door just made it look really cute. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was the only part I had to change on the barn. And right now I'm just kind of like outlining the whole build with these bushes because I love these bushes and you can't go wrong with outlining a build with bushes. Uh, if it's looking a little bit bland while you guys are building, definitely add some bushes and some trees and landscaping and it's definitely going to fill it up. This whole lot right now looks so bland, <laughs> but I swear to you guys, by the end of it, it's nice and full and as I was playtesting, I really enjoyed it because it was just so, it was just so full and full of life and it just seems like a really fun build to play in. And so I don't play very often. <laughs> um, I have a let's play that I'm actually doing on my channel right now. And that's the only time I actually play it. <laughs> um, I just, I don't know, I find myself building more. And so with that being said, if I ever do find myself wanting to play the game on my own or even in a let's play, I would definitely download this build and play with it because it just... It was so satisfying to play in when I was playtesting it, and yeah, it was fun. It's just nice and full. I also add a treehouse over in the corner in front of like that white fence where the barn is. That's like the horse area, and in front of there it was really bland and blank, and I did not know what to add there. And so I decided to add a little play, a, a treehouse <laughs> for the child that lives here and the infant, and... That was probably, you know, when the teenager was a kid, they would play in it as well. I think teenagers can also go up in there, right? I think you can actually set it to only children and teens or only teens. And so, yeah, I really like that treehouse. Um, oh, here I am adding it now. I'm trying to figure out where to put it. And this is where it stays. And I also make sure like the terrain tools, um, it's not floating because I can't stand when things float. I cannot stand it. Sometimes you can't get away from it. Like I, I put a little bike out in the front at some point and it, it's, it's floating for some reason. I tried fixing it again and again and I swear I fixed it one time. And then I saved it to the gallery and placed the lot just to see you know, what it looked like when it was building. And it, it was floating again. So yeah, I don't know what was going on there. It has to do with the terrain tools, I'm guessing, but I didn't want to remove the bike because it added like an extra like touch of color out there <laughs> and it looked really cute. So uh, it's still there. And here I am adding more of these awesome bushes. These are my favorite bushes in the game. They're just so good. I wish that they had like a shorter version of it though. Um, the, the version that's in the game is super, super long. So I wish that they had one that was literally half of it and you could put it in so many more places. Um, so yeah, I doubt the Sims team is watching this, but if you guys are, add a half size of those bushes. Um, I think that would make a lot of builders happy. And honestly, how, how hard would that be? All you have to do is get that object in where like Sims 4 Studio or like however you make the objects in Blender or something. Um, and you just cut it in half. Uh, yeah, so that would be awesome. But anyways, yeah, so here I am. I decided after enough fiddling with terrain tools, um, I just decided to make this kind of flat out here where like the cows are going to be and where the garden is. It's just, it wasn't 
big enough, believe it or not, to do a whole bunch of terrain tools in the back. It just wasn't looking right. It wasn't blending very good. It was frustrating me. And so I was like, you know what? I'll just flatten out the whole thing. So it kind of like, it, the whole lot's not flat, trust me. It's like you go up a hill to get to the house and you kind of have that sidewalk to the side of the house. And that part goes up. But then once you reach the back of the lot, as you can see right here, it, it gets flat and stays flat once you get to the back of the lot. But the front of the lot has that nice hill area. And it, it looks really good. I spent a lot of time with these terrain tools. This area right here was a pain in the butt. <laughs> um, I had to like do it and redo it, delete it, try it again. Play test the horse. The horse wouldn't go in the dang barn. And I already told you guys about that scenario. And yeah, but I really wanted it to have, I wanted the barn to be up with that foundation like that. And I wanted there to be a hill leading up to a barn. I mean, I've done this before in a different build and it worked out. So I know that it can. I just was really surprised to see that horse couldn't go in there. Now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. I think I know why. Um, I was playtesting the build, right? And so I had my sim mounted up on the horse and that's why she couldn't go in the barn. Um, I literally just figured it out. <laughs> so I think if the horse was by herself without a sim on it, um, I think they would be able to go inside the barn then. Uh, so yeah. But anyways, that door still was deleted. It's not something you guys have to worry about if you do want to download this build on the gallery. So it just doesn't have a door there. <laughs> you can always add it back if you want it back. And I am pulling these lights out of debug. So in a part of Hinford on Bagley, there is like three chairs with these lights or not three chairs, three trees with these lights on it. And I love that area. There's like a little like um, picnic table under it and I did this in a previous farmhouse that I've done I've done this is like my third farmhouse um, like a big one like this and the very first one that I did when uh, Cottage Living first came out I mimicked that little area just like I just did and it turned out so cute at nighttime when you're playing in this build uh, it's so pretty because you have that like those trees with all those lights on it. And then the the tree house, I also had my Sam upgrade that and put the lights on the tree house. And so the tree house is lit up, the trees on the other side of the backyard are lit up. And I also used on one of the kits, I think it's like the backyard, the, the children's backyard kit, the backyard campers kit, I think is what it's called. Um, there's like a swing set in that particular kit that has like lights on it and so I added that under the trees as well and I am sorry and disappointed to say that that swing set does not work for some reason I could not get my sim to swing on there and I tried with a child I tried with an adult sim and they just couldn't use it and I couldn't bring myself to delete it because it really was so pretty at night and so it's still there just keep in mind that you guys can't actually swing on it and so if you want to swing on it you'll either have to delete those trees or move it to a different part of the lot <clears throat> but where it's at right now doesn't work and it, it really made me sad but it is what it is. <laughs> it was pretty. And so the pretty the prettiness overtook the playability. <laughs> Which I don't do very often. But in this case I did. And as you guys can see I added some trucks out here in the front. Um, I almost just left that front blank. And I hated it. Uh, there needed to be something there. And so I decided to put some trucks there instead. And they were floating <laughs> because of the terrain tools and so I decided to take the terrain tools and take some time and kind of sculpt the terrain under the trucks and so they are not floating anymore and the terrain is nice and smooth in that area the terrain 
and the whole lot honestly is nice and smooth because I just took that much time to make sure it's nice and smooth. I cannot stand when the train tool sculpt thing, like when the train looks all bumpy and not smooth. I can't stand that. The smoother tool when using terrain paint is definitely your best friend. It's something that you're going to have to use. Uh, but yeah, so we are inside now. Uh, I am not done with the outside at all. There is a lot to do on the outside still, but I wanted to kind of get the inside done before I finish the outside. Honestly, I just was getting bored. <laughs> that is the truth. I was getting bored on the outside, and so I really wanted to move inside. And so that is that is why we're inside now. And I really love the way that this kitchen and this dining room turned out. Um, I love like that rosy flowery wallpaper that came in Cottage Living and this cabinetry set was also from Cottage, Cottage Living and it's so pretty. I love that emerald green. It's either, what is it, emerald green or is it forest green? I don't know, just that green color is so beautiful. I love it and it really made this kitchen look really cute and I also really cluttered up this kitchen. <laughs> It's very cluttered and it is usable. Uh, I did have my little sim here play test and it's it's usable and so that makes me happy. And so it's nice, cluttered, cute, and you can also play in it, so it's great. And um, I also used a lot of the clutter pieces are from the Home Chef Hustle kit. And I also have like that little waffle maker right there. And I wanted to put that little like recipe book right there. I thought that was cute because it looks like maybe your Sam is looking at a recipe while making waffles <laughs> or just making dinner in general. It doesn't have to be waffles, you know, you can make all sorts of things in a, in a waffle maker. I don't have a waffle maker, but I have seen lots of videos of people making all types of like interesting waffly sort of things that weren't like the typical sweet waffle, you know? Um, but yeah, anyways, <laughs> I am wondering, um, to those of you that are still in this video 22 minutes in, <laughs> I, I'm sure it's not very many of you, but the few that are still watching this, um, I'm curious, do you guys enjoy cluttered builds? Um, or do you prefer playing in builds that are like nice, clean, and not cluttered and plenty of space for your sims to be. What do you guys prefer? Because I think the cluttered builds are really pretty, but I also think that sometimes it'll get in the way of actually playing in the build. So I'm curious what you guys prefer. Um, cluttered builds or not cluttered builds? Uh, let me know down in the comments. I'm, I'm really curious on that. So, yeah, uh, I really didn't know what to put in this area right here. As you guys can see, I'm kind of struggling. <laughs> and so I decided, like, the wall was really, really blank. And I didn't want that. Um, I hate, you know, if a part of a build is really cluttered and then, like, right next to it is, like, really clean. That really irks me for some reason. And so I wanted to make sure since a part of this kitchen was cluttered, I wanted it all to be kind of on the cluttered side, and I feel like that's also realistic. Most kitchens I see are pretty cluttered because, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I spend a lot of time in my kitchen, and I know so does like my grandma when I was growing up spent a lot of time in her kitchen, and so did like my mom, and that's just like a, the heart of the home, I feel like, you know, the living room could be as well, but the kitchen, you'll always find people in the kitchen. I mean, that's where like the food is, the drink is. Um, that's just where a lot of stuff is. <laughs> so in my humble personal opinion, I think the kitchens are the heart of the home. And so I really like to spend a lot of time in the kitchen and um, not only in real life, but also in the Sims and just making sure that the kitchen looks really nice and comfortable and pretty. And just, yeah, I love doing kitchens in The Sims. Um, and looking at this kitchen right now, I think it turned out so cute. It really looks like a farmhouse kitchen. And I wanted to add those um, those buckets right there with like the oranges and like the apples or onions or whatever that other thing is. 
Uh, I wanted to add that. That is from Country Kitchen Kits. So if you don't have that kit, it just won't be there, but you'll have a lot of other stuff because I didn't use very much from that kit. And I just thought it was a really cute touch and made it look that much more like a farmhouse, you know? And so I, I, I took it out and I thought it was cute right there in front of the window. And just the whole kitchen, honestly, was really, really pretty. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. And we are over into the dining room now. And this dining room, um, I think, came out really cute, too. Um, this hutch, that's from Cottage Living. A lot of this stuff, guys, is from Cottage Living or Horse Ranch. I'm telling you, if you have those two packs, you'll have the majority of this build. And, um, yeah, so... I have a chimney outside and so I wanted to make good use of fireplaces in this build and so there's a fireplace in the dining room as you can see like a little furnace fireplace and I also put a fireplace out in both living rooms <laughs> and in the parents bedroom as well and I think the grandparents bedroom as well so there is a lot of fireplaces in this house so be careful <laughs> watch those sims of y'all's because they will start a fire probably not that I had one start while I was play testing I haven't had that problem um, but we all know how these these silly sims are they start fires left and right you can't trust them you can't trust them by themselves. <laughs> you can't, you gotta keep watch of them. And uh, yeah, so I ended up, I was gonna have an additional bathroom in that front area where I ended up opening, but we already have five bathrooms and I was like, there is no use for that sixth bathroom. I mean, really there's no use for five bathrooms. Honestly, we probably could have opened up the dining room that much more, but you know, having a big house like this and having a lot of different sims and having more than just two or three bathrooms, I'm sure does come in handy. Um, especially when your sim waits until the last possible second and they're like about to pee themselves and they're walking very, very slow. It's very handy to have bathrooms on every part of the house. <laughs> um, don't I miss the days, guys. What about you? I miss the days of when the sims 2 your sims had to really pee and they sprinted to the bathroom they weren't about to pee themselves in front of everyone because they had that memory system and so they remembered you know i peed myself one time and that was embarrassing <laughs> and so let me go ahead and sprint to the bathroom i'm not about to play around here i think sometimes if it w if you waited to the last 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 possible minute they would walk very slow but for the most part i have a memory of my sims actually running to the bathroom and i think that's so funny i wish they would bring that type of quirkiness back to the sims 4 but um i guess sims 4 is kind of quirky in its own way but not like the sims 2 was the sims 2 was awesome it stays you know, in a, splish, a special place in my heart, <laughs> and it will always, and I do enjoy playing it every once in a while. Um, do you guys like The Sims 2 as well, or did you grow up playing The Sims 2 like I did? Did you play The Sims 2 at all? Um, I'm quite curious, or was The Sims 4 the first game you guys played? And if that's the case, then you're probably getting tired of me uh, talking about The Sims 2 <laughs> and how great The Sims 2 was. But um, yeah, if you've never played The Sims 2, there is different. There is a certain website that you can download it off of without paying for it. And so that is what I advise you guys to do. Uh, be careful doing that. Make sure it's off a trusted website. There's plenty of YouTube videos you guys could watch to ensure it's a trusted website. And um, definitely when you guys are feeling kind of bored of The Sims 4, you know, it's in between packs and it's kind of like dry and you're bored and you want to play something, play The Sims 2, trust me, and give it a chance. Um, it's so awesome. When you first play it though, <laughs> I'm, um, these new computers are different than the computers back then, I guess. Uh, so when you first go into it, it's going to look really pixelated and bad. Trust me, just look up a YouTube video on how to fix that. And you're going to love it after that. The 
the graphics are never going to live up to The Sims 4 graphics. I mean, The Sims 2 was made in the early 2000s, so there's no way that it's going to live up to The Sims 4 graphics, but it's good in its own way. Trust me. Trust me and the millions of others that play The Sims. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm kind of rambling now. Um, I have 58 minutes to talk to you guys, so I'm going to be rambling. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, yeah, so we're in the living room now and I am adding an additional fireplace like I was just talking about. And I am also adding a TV on that fireplace. And what I do, um, you normally can't slot a TV on that fireplace. And I wish that they had like a little slot there so that you could put either a picture or a TV up there because without it, it looks so bland. But in order to put a TV or a picture up there, you have to kind of delete the walls that are behind the fireplace and use the, the control 9 key to shift up and you can freely place it by using alt. So that's kind of how you go around not being able to put a TV there. And once I figured that out, it was like a game changer. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I've seen it on a video. I think I just kind of figured that out on my own. It doesn't take a rocket scientist, I guess. So I'm not trying to like toot my own horn or anything. It's just that's what happened. A lot of the building tips and tricks that I've discovered, I've discovered on my own. I mean, I have watched videos back five, six, seven years ago when I first started playing The Sims 4 and building in The Sims 4 and stuff. And um, so I'm sure some of the tips and tricks came from previous YouTube videos that I've watched, but a lot of it was just experience. You know, the best way to learn to build is by building yourself. Um, you can watch hundreds of videos, but if you don't do it yourself, you're never going to get that practice. And practice really does make perfect in anything that you do. That's true for everything you do. It doesn't matter if it's building a house in The Sims or if it's singing in real life, or if it's cooking in real life, or whatever it is, practice makes perfect. The more you do it, the better you're gonna become. And that's something that I have to remind myself on probably a daily basis. I always have to remind myself, you know, don't get discouraged if you suck at something as soon as you do it, because most likely everybody sucked at it before they practiced, you know? So just, just a little bit of advice to you guys. Um, I know you guys don't ask for advice from me, a random person on the internet, <laughs> but here I am giving it to you. Um, I thought it was nice. But anyways, um, I'm kind of trying to decide what to put in this area of the living room. I almost didn't put anything there <laughs> um, and it was too blank and it needed to be filled up and so I put a computer you know there's so many sims in this house so you can never have enough computers um, that's something I've learned while playing and I also that other wall was kind of blank I already put a bookcase down there and so I decided to put a a little piano there instead <laughs> and I thought it looked pretty cute and so I kept it and that was the living room and now we are actually this is grandma's living room or grandma's bedroom either grandma or grandpa or both but i thought whichever one it was was really into knitting and so i put a little knitting area right there with like a little rocking chair and a little knitting kit and I just thought it looked really cute for like an old person's bedroom. <laughs> and that's pretty much their bedroom. Nothing really too special. And I'm working on their bathroom now. And they get the Mac Daddy Grand Soaker Tub. They are, this is their house guys. Um, so they get the best bathroom. That's all there is to it. Uh, but I do have to say that the parents have the best bedroom. The grandparents might have the best bed uh, bathroom, but the parents have by far the best bedroom because I love the way that it's up onto like a platform and there's stairs going up it and it's awesome. And you guys will see it here in a little bit. Uh, but I'm just trying to add some little decor pieces into the grandparents' bathroom. And I was thinking about adding a candle there on the bathtub, but I decided not to. <laughs> I just couldn't find one that I liked. And I said, what the heck? We did one bathroom. 
Let's go ahead and do the main bathroom that has like the little laundry room in it as well. It's kind of half laundry, half bathroom. I don't know if houses like this exist in real life or not. Um, I've only ever lived in houses that had the laundry room separate from the bathroom. But that's just my personal experience. Um, I just thought that it was a good use of space to have a laundry room in here as well. And I wanted to put a shower and toilet just because. Uh, there's a lot of Sims in this bathroom, or in this house I mean, and so having an additional shower and tub and toilet is definitely going to be useful. And so that is what I did. And here we are up into the parents' bedroom now. And as you can see, I have my little Sim here. And I had her go up there to make sure that an adult can in fact walk up there. Because if you guys did not know, if the platform is high enough and close enough to the ceiling, an adult will not be able to walk up there, but a child would. So something that's quite fun is to have like the child, the children's room have kind of like a up platform area that only the child can get to. <laughs> um, that's not something I would want in real life for my kid, but um, I think in The Sims it's, it's quite fun. And I think a kid in real life would probably get a kick out of that room, but I don't think it's very... Uh, you know, parents, let's be real, kids don't clean their rooms. So having a parent go up into that tiny little space would probably be a pain in the butt to get up there and clean. Um, that is just how I would view it, unless you're super short and you wouldn't care then. <laughs> but I am tall. I am probably, I'm like 5'10", 5'11", so I'm quite tall. And so me getting up there and cleaning would definitely hurt my back and probably give me a hunchback. And uh, yeah, nobody wants that. And uh, yeah, so still in the parents' bedroom. And I had this little area right here because I wanted this porch or the balcony right here to be strictly the parents. And so I put like a little room off into leading to the little balcony area. And I did not know what to put there. And so I decided to put a computer there. Never can have too many. As you know, even if each person in the house has their own, own computer <laughs> and then you have an extra one, it still wouldn't be enough because you have those measly visitors come and use your computers without your permission in The Sims. Uh, that's so aggravating. But I know they did have that patch come. I mean, I think it's been here a while at this point. They had a patch come in where you can, I think it was the Discover University, so it's been here for quite a while, where you can adjust the settings on the computer and have only one or the family or no visitors or whatever. Um, you can adjust the settings to see who or have a particular person use that computer themselves. And that was quite a useful thing for them to bring in the game. Okay, right here, guys, um, I did something really fun. I love to do this in my builds ever since high school years came out. That's something else that I have uh, that I love in The Sims 2 is the fact that they could sneak out. <laughs> But they can do it again in The Sims 4 ever since high school years. Um, I don't think it's quite as fun as it was in The Sims 2. It's not quite as detailed like it was in The Sims 2. But so what I did here was use that little stair, like that ladder that came in high school years that looks like it has like vines growing up it and you put it on the side of the house and they use that to kind of sneak out. <laughs> and so this is the teenager's room and so she has her little private balcony and I thought it was such a good idea to put that ladder there and I kind of made it look like in the bushes that someone walks through there kind of on a regular basis. Um, I thought that's so fun and I'm really happy with the way that that turned out. <laughs> I, this isn't the first time I've done that in a build and I also kind of used terrain paint to uh, paint dirt there so it looks like she does it more times than not. Um, what about you? Did you guys sneak out as a teenager? I did. A lot. <laughs> Never got caught, um, luckily. And, well, I mean, I never really got caught. There was one time 
that I stupidly just didn't care. I was tired when I came back home. And so I left the chair under my window. I mean, how obvious is that? And so I got a text from my dad the day after and was and it was the picture of the chair. And I can't remember what he said. He said something. I can't remember. But at that point, I was like 17, almost 18. And I don't, honestly, I don't think I got in trouble for that. <laughs> I think at that, more, at that point, my parents were just like, okay, uh, you know what? <laughs> Let's just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> okay. Uh, hopefully my parents will never see this video. I'm sorry, guys, for calling you guys out. But, um... But yeah, if that was my kid, I so would have got onto my kid. There's no way I would have not grounded my kid for that. Um, but yeah, so yeah, this her little private balcony. She also has like a little chair and stuff out there. And I thought that would be, you know, that's her little hangout area for when her friends come over. And there's also a telescope out there. Um, and I also put like some pom-poms and stuff in her room. So I kind of thought she was a cheerleader in the high school and so yeah i love to when i do my um bedrooms for my sims i like to give them a little personality and that's what i try to always do um so you'll find me add like little like stuff here and there in the bedrooms that's specifically for that sim and so i think that's just a cute little touch and yeah so we are in the bedroom or the child's bedroom now and I did a little three step up here. So I don't know if your adult sim can get up there. I did not test that part, but I know for a fact your child can. And um, his bedroom, this is, I kind of thought it was for a little boy, but honestly you can have a little girl in this bedroom too. It's kind of like a gender neutral bedroom. And I thought it turned out really cute. Um, that bed is from Horse Ranch and it tied perfectly with that rug they just recently upgrade or they put that in the base game um they updated the base game and added that during the growing together patch update and like when the infants came out and stuff and i think it's so cute i love the little mountains on there and this is like a little ranch house and a little farmhouse in henford on bagley and so having a, a room like this really makes sense and I put some sports pictures in there and I kind of thought that this was a smart kid but also a very active kid and all types of different little skill building items in his room and I also put I think that's from dream home decorator that little like tent I love adding that to my kids builds if I can fit it in there it's kind of ginormous and bulky and so I can't always use it but I was able to use it in this build and I was quite happy with the fact that I was able to use it and it matched perfectly in his room. And so I had to use it. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, we are over into the toddler's bedroom now. And, or not toddler, but infant. We are making some progress, guys. It has been a full 42 minutes of me nonstop talking. So at this point I am getting kind of a little lightheaded <laughs> and I'm just rambling probably at this point so forgive me I hope it's at least entertaining you guys and uh, yeah so nothing really special this is just the infant's room I add a little rug there and then I had to edit like a little part out I can't remember what exactly happened so I put a little transition there and I'm also at this point just trying to make the video as short as possible um, because we're already at 43 minutes at this point. So while I was editing, I was like, ah, okay, I need to find stuff that I can just, uh, edit out. You know, I probably could have edited out each of the bathrooms because bathrooms are not interesting guys. I have never liked to do bathrooms. I've never liked to watch people, you know, decorate bathrooms <laughs> and yeah, so I probably could have edited that out. Edited it. I probably could have edited that out, but I decided not to. Decided to uh, let's just go all the way, and I kept it in. But yeah, so I actually forgot to decorate the parents' balcony. So I went back, and this is me decorating their balcony really quick. Nothing really special, just some chairs out there, like a little hangout area for them. And here is the greenhouse that I was talking about that's right off of the dining room and those lights I never ever use those lights I can never figure out what to use them for because they're kind of like festive and definitely uh, use them during the holidays and stuff I think it came in the holiday celebration pack 
Uh, actually, I know for a fact that it did, and I never use them. They're base game only, technically, because everyone gets that pack for free. And um, I thought it fit perfectly in there. It's kind of like it's giving greenhouse vibes. So just imagine all of the planter boxes and the vertical raised garden beds and stuff are all filled up with plants and greenery and how well it's gonna blend with those lights. I think it's gonna blend really good and it's definitely a greenhouse vibe, you know? And I think the greenhouse turned out pretty cute. I mean, I've built better greenhouses, don't get me wrong. I have one on my gallery and it actually got a Max's fave, which was quite awesome. And um, it's really, really detailed and it's really cute. So if you're interested in seeing that greenhouse, definitely go over to my gallery and go over and type, click the button, I'm not looking at it, so I'm trying to remember, but click like the highest, you know, the most popular downloads or something. And it's like my most popular download because like I said, I did get a Max's fave on it. So it kind of guarantees getting a lot of downloads at that point if you do get a Max's fave. And that was the last Max's fave I got. I've, I've gotten like three and the whole time of making like playing Sims and stuff. And so I'm quite happy with that. Um, it's it's pretty, you know, special <laughs> getting a Max's Fave and I don't know why, cause it's really not that big of a deal. I feel like, you know, a lot of, there's like a group of people that, so you can actually, um, how do I say this? You can recommend different people on the gallery to get Max's fave on a, like a particular like thread on, um, I can't remember, but you can, you, there's a, a thread that the Sim Gurus go and look at and you can actually um, fit, like recommend people for Max's faves, right? And there's a particular group of people, <laughs> I'm not going to say any names, who are like always, you know, the main people on the gallery and stuff. And they will always recommend only each other's builds and sims and stuff. And maybe some other people here and there, but mainly just them and their group of friends. And so they're like always getting Max's faves. And I feel like that's kind of unfair, um, honestly. But um, yeah, uh, nothing really. I can do about that. It's really not that big of a deal at the end of the day. It's just kind of not fair. But uh, so I like to recommend in there when I think about it and when I see a build or a sim or a room that really catches my attention and I think deserves a Max's fave, I'll recommend some people in there sometimes. And I might actually do that sometime soon. I haven't done it in a while, so I might do that soon. But yeah, guys, we are finally kind of nearing the end now. Um, I'm just adding like some plants around and I pulled those pink flowers out of the debug with uh, Cottage Living and adding those, I thought just added a pop of color and I thought it was really pretty. And so I wanted to keep them and so I went ahead and just added them all over the lot. And yeah. Oh, by the way, I think I either, I don't know, I think I deleted the terrain. Either that or I left and I came back. No, I think I left. I left the lot and came back um, from Manage Worlds and my terrain paint was gone. Uh, have you guys had that bug happen? It's, it's quite sad if you spend a lot of time on the terrain paint, which honestly I was gonna redo it anyways, so it's really not that big of a deal, but um, yeah, it's still, I've had it happen when I was completely done with the build and I came back and it was gone and it, it was so sad. I had to redo it and it's never as good the second time as it was the first time. It never is, but it's just something we got to live with <laughs> until they fix it. And yeah, so I'm adding some, um, plants around like this little pond area right here. And I don't think I added it while I was filming. But I did go back and I add some, oh no, I did. Okay, I added some logs and stuff and I did forget to add a little fishing sign. And so after I was done filming and I was play testing, I did in fact add that little fishing sign right by those logs. And so your Sims can fish in there, but I chose the one by accident that you have to stock it yourself. So you'll have to stock it yourself <laughs> or you can just replace that. And uh, yeah, so here I am just 
doing the like um what do you call that girl that train paint it's like little pebbles and stuff um that's like one of my favorite ones and so i'm just redoing the train paint and this little garden area right here um i end up putting like a bunch of bushes and flowers and stuff there and it turns out really nice and full and stuff and i almost added so i tried something <laughs> i almost added like um an above ground pool in this area right here and i was gonna put a deck and stuff on it and it was too small of a space to add that deck and ground above ground pool and stuff and so i decided to do away with that idea oh by the way while it's nighttime oh well i'm sure you've seen it for a split second all those lights were lit up and so it just looks so pretty out there at night um i hope you guys really like that area as much as i do and it's not like annoying i know there's probably some people out there that don't like as many trees that i have right now on this build there are, are lots of trees but i just i love the way that the trees and the landscaping looks and here is the floating bike that i was talking about <laughs> um you can't really tell it's floating until you get ground level with it but uh yeah so Oh, by the way, on that uh, tree house, I added some children's skill building items. I put like a, like a little, um, the drawing table and stuff like that. And then you see me just pull out that swing set that I was talking about. Unfortunately, it does not work. Yusim cannot actually swing on there. And that made me so sad when I was playtesting because I was really looking forward to being able to see someone swing on there and with it being lit up and pretty and stuff. But it just, I could not bring myself to delete the trees. And then I could not bring myself to delete the swing either. <laughs> and so it all stayed. And it just, you can't play in the swing, but you can sit on that, like that bench that's there and stuff. And I want to say in a previous build that I've done like that, I put like a chess table out there and I want to say that they, they could use it. So I really don't know what the problem was with the swing set. Um, it just didn't work. And so, yeah, it made me a little sad. But over here, this is like the little horse area and it pretty much looks like this still. Like I said, I just had to change the barn and stuff. And I actually forgot to do the inside of the barn while I was filming. <laughs> so um, you guys are not going to be able to see it. But I did decorate the inside of the barn with just, you know, like a little horse bed and their hay feeder and water and just some like little ranch tools and stuff, a little bit of clutter items, nothing too fancy, nothing too spectacular, but you guys will be able to see it in the screenshots at the end of the build, which are coming up pretty soon. So let me just tell you guys, thank you again for the 97 subscribers that I have. Um, who knows, maybe I'll be at 100 by the time this is posted. I am doing the voiceover the same day that I'm posting this, so this is going to be posted on Monday, the 25th of March. And so we will see. Um, I might do something for 100 subscribers. I might not. I might wait till like I get like 500 subscribers because I feel like that's like a really big milestone, 500. And so, yeah. Um, just thank you, thank you, thank you to the 97 of you that have subscribed. You guys are awesome. And I really, really appreciate every single one of you guys. And I really hope you guys enjoy this build. And if you did, definitely leave a like on this video and share it with your friends. And that will tell me to keep making farmhouses and longer builds and builds pretty much just like this. And to be uh, totally, totally honest, guys, <laughs> I have talked so much in the last almost hour now that I can't remember if I told you guys this is available on the gallery. And so if you guys are interested in downloading it, definitely go check my gallery out uh, at the Clumsy Simmer. It is linked down below as well. And just like all the rest of my builds, um, this is on the gallery. All of my builds are. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just rambling at this point, guys. So I'm going to leave you to enjoy the screenshots in the last minute or so of this build. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.